Good morning, and welcome to our daily devotional Grandfather's Box. As we do once in a while during this series, I want to try something a little different today. I want to take you on a guided spiritual meditation. The image of this candle kind of came to me earlier today. I was driving in the car with my daughters, um, and they wanted to listen to some loud music. I think they just had a lot of energy they wanted to get out. But the song talked a lot about how people feel dim. And I started wondering if there's some of us right now that feel like perhaps our fire is dim. Perhaps for some of you, during this season of pandemic, you thrive in the area of feeling effective and as if you're making a difference. So perhaps for you, your fire is bright. Or perhaps you're somewhere in between. Just feeling as if everything is moving along at the pace it should. Our fire can dim for a number of reasons. Busyness. Just getting into the routine, the root of things. Uh, the rut of everyday life. Fears of the future. Or medical concerns. There's a number of things that can make our fire dim. And so today I ask you what you're passionate about. What brightens up your fire? Perhaps take some time to ask the Lord what it is that sets your heart ablaze that brings you joy and excitement. Take a moment now and ask the Lord where your fire is at. Perhaps your fire is bright. And it wasn't until you thought about it that you realized how much joy you have. Having joy in a pandemic can seem strange and off-putting. But it's okay to own the fact that you find value in being used and being effective. Perhaps things are going good in your life right now. And amidst all this craziness, you can feel shame for that. Though we hurt over our brothers and sisters who suffer this day, don't feel shame, but accept the blessings of God. Perhaps for you, your fire is steady, moving along at a good pace. You have stability in your life right now. There's no shame in that either. There can be strength and power in identifying that. Or perhaps your fire is dimmed a little. And you might not have even realized it because of the routine, the busyness, the stress, or the concerns. So what happens when you have a full flame? For me, I tend to be more happy. I tend to have more confidence. I tend to take more risks for good and love and feel more effective when my flame is full, when the fire of God just burns bright inside of me. I'm more artistic and creative and I feel safe in doing those things. 
What are you like? How do you know that the flame inside of you, the flame of the Holy Spirit, is full? Earlier today, a friend told me that over the course of the last couple of weeks, Psalms 91 has ended up coming to her seven times. Rather, it was a devotional, the radio, her own scripture reading, somebody mentioning it, or in another way, over seven times. Uh, seven times over this last week, this has come to her. And so I want to take a minute right now, because after I read it, it kind of touched me. And for those of us who perhaps have been feeling a little dried out, as if our fire is a little dim, or even those of us that feel as if the flame is steady, I found comforting words in here. And I hope you do too. Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. This I declare about the Lord. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God, and I trust Him. For He will rescue you from every trap and protect you from every deadly disease. He will cover you with his feathers. He will shelter you with his wings. His faithful promises are your arms and protection. Do not be afraid of the terrors of the night, nor the arrows that fly by day. Do not dread the diseases that stalk in darkness, nor the disasters that strike at midday. Though a thousand fall at your side, Though 10,000 are dying around you, these evils will not touch you. Just open your eyes and see how the wicked are punished. If you make the Lord your refuge, if you make the Most High your shelter, no evil will conquer you. No plague will come near your home, for he will order his angels to protect you wherever you go. They will hold you up with their hands so you won't even hurt your foot on a stone. You will trample upon lions and cobras. You will crush fierce lions and serpents under your feet. The Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in my name. When they call on me, I will answer. I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue and honor them. I will reward them with a long life, and give them my salvation. Perhaps today you've realized that your flame is a little more dim. Or perhaps you've known for a while, and you've wanted to rekindle it. Perhaps your flame is steady or even bright right now and you just need to own that and be okay with it. Wherever you are on your journey of the light breaking into the darkness of your own soul, ask yourself, what dims your light? If not now, then typically. What brightens your light? What brings it up and excites you about love and good and, and helps you to feel comfortable being yourself?
Rather, it be extra time in devotion, in prayer, in serving someone, in just being silly, or doing something fun with a loved one, or just on your own. In the next 24 hours, do one thing that helps to brighten up the flame inside of you. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for being the light in our darkness, for being the warmth in our cold place, the life giver where all we have had is death. We pray, Lord, that in the mix of the times when our flame feels dwindled, when we grow so busy we don't even realize that it's been dimming, or we grow so overwhelmed it feels as if the flame is being snuffed out. We thank you for being an ever-giving source of light, that ignition place that sparks our souls. We thank you that yours is a love we can lean hard against. We seek to rekindle ourselves in you today. Lay upon our hearts, create an opportunity that we may grow the fire within and find that joy, fulfillment, peace, and flame growing in you and in our very selves. We pray this through Christ our King. Amen. I love you. Stay safe. God's peace. And I'll see you tomorrow.